What's up guys, it's Jensen here. It's March 28th, 2017, and it's actually my birthday today. <laughs> So I'm doing this video a little bit early. Tomorrow is my one month, but I'm not gonna be out of town because today's my birthday um, and it happens to be my spring break. So for the rest of the week, I'm gonna be out of town having a good time. Just to remind you guys, I do the monthly videos based off, based off of uh, every seven days is one week. I'm gonna talk about some changes that I've seen uh, I don't know if I've mentioned them in the two-week video, but if you hear me repeat some things, that's probably because I've noticed them a lot, a lot more than, than any, other, uh, any of the other things. So the first one, uh, I'm going to start off by going physical to mental, I guess, externally and internally. Things you can see and things that you can't notice. So the first one is my voice. I don't think that it's like dropped or anything, but I, the last seven days for sure, it's been a lot scratchier. I've woken up and I constantly feel like I'm sick. Like I have to like <clears throat> cough or something, but it doesn't go away. So I kind of like that. Uh, I, I guess it means my vocal cords are thickening and that's awesome. Um, but it just sounds like I'm sick right now. So. I think it's gone a tiny, tiny, tiny bit deeper. I would say it's androgynous at best. Another physical thing is like my hairline on my arms and my calves, um, but a lot on my arms just because I notice it a, a little bit more, I think. I think it's, it's coming from up here and it's moving down here. So I don't have, <sighs> so I don't have a crazy amount of hair growth or anything, but it is, kind of coming down a little bit more and it's kind of doing its own thing. I like it, I notice it because I look at my arms a lot, uh, but it's nothing super crazy right now. But I hope that the hair starts thickening out because as well as my legs, I've always had like a decent amount of hair, but it's not thick. So I would say from far away, you can't really notice it, but especially like in the back, like in my, hamstring and calf area there hasn't been much hair but recently it's like starting to come out it's just sprouting out of nowhere and it's kind of weird um, but i really like it it's kind of patchy right now but i'm hoping it'll fill in throughout the next like month at least another place i forgot another place that my hair has started to uh grow more than usual is above my like belly button, not under my belly button, not like the happy trout line, but above it, like right here, this is my belly button. Right above it, it's, you can't see it obviously, but um, it's like more noticeable. And I didn't notice that till probably yesterday or the day before that. And yeah, it's just the top though. It's not the bottom, hasn't really seen much hair growth or, any, or anything thicker or anything like that. Another thing, my arms have gotten a lot bigger. This is a really big shirt for me, but my arms have gotten a pretty decent size bigger. People are starting to notice that I've been working out, but that's, that's all that they think it is. It's just working out. I honestly, before I started hormones, I would, if I would work out as much as I do now, I would not really see much of a difference in both strength and like, muscle mass so that always discouraged me to continue working out but now since i've started hormones it's a little bit easier to gain weight and i it's more noticeable so i know that with testosterone you can gain weight whether you do something or not but i have been working out so i'm pretty sure that has something to do with it i hope because i don't want it to be for nothing but right here um has been getting Decently big. I mean proportional to my body, but bigger than it was I guess my calves are also like Becoming easier to work out not that they were ever hard, but they were hard to build and now I'm kind of seeing like the little You know the little calf line you guys know what I'm talking about. So this I guess goes more with the internal part of everything um, but 
I'm, I've been working out, right? And I've been feeling so much stronger than I have been before. I went to the gym this morning, so like a few hours ago, and I realized that I'm almost double what I could lift before uh, before starting testosterone. I think before working out this often. Once again, I think it has to do with like me working out and just getting used to certain weight limits, but now it's definitely, uh, definitely present when I work out. Like I can go, like I can work out longer, I can work out harder and not get as tired as I would before and I can lift a lot more like a significantly a lot more than I would before and that's kind of exciting because that's a lot easier to build muscle if you lift more weight so hopefully that continues if not I'm pretty happy at where I'm at right now so another internal mental aspect the libido which is the horniness um, and hunger have both kind of evened out. I haven't, I'm not gonna say they've gone away completely, but they're like, it's becoming normal again. Um, I still eat a lot, but it's not nearly as much as the first two weeks. And um, sex drive is still there, but again, it's not as noticeable as it was the first two weeks specifically. That was, that was a lot to handle. The last thing, and I think the most important thing uh, internally that has changed as far as like feelings and everything has been my confidence. My confidence has gone up so much and I was never really unconfident or self-conscious about anything, but now it's just, I'm, I feel like I'm presenting as more of my authentic self and it's becoming easier. And with all the support that I've been getting from people, it just makes me feel a little bit better. So in turn, it raises my confidence and I can go out and I could go to a store full of a million people. I could go to the gym when it's really, really busy and I can be okay. Not like I would kind of overthink it and like be kind of paranoid. So I really like that. And I know that it's going in the right direction, which is awesome. So I think that's all the changes that I have right now. It hasn't been much, but I am seeing, like I said, like I'm headed towards the right direction, which is really awesome to just like know that I'm heading towards where I want to be at. Uh, so that's awesome. I want to bring up just real quick that video last week, like the really, really short one. Um, about my shots and about uh, having pain um, the last time I did my shot. Well, this last time, I think the last two times, or I don't remember, I'm honestly losing track. I feel like I should write it down or something. This last time, I was still really nervous because, uh, because that last time it hurt really bad. So I was more nervous than I should have been. And I did it and it was painless. It was the most painless, painless shot I've gotten like for a second I thought I didn't even inject anything because I didn't feel like the warmth or like the soreness or anything um, right away I felt it maybe like 10 minutes after and but it wasn't as intense as it was before that so I think my body's getting used to getting injected at least in those places maybe but it it became, it was a lot, it was super easy, super easy. But that's all I have for you guys today. If you guys have any questions about how I do my shots or if I've experienced any other changes or whatever questions you guys may have, go ahead and let me know and I will try to get to them as soon as I can, if I have time. Other than that, that's all I have for you guys today. So I will see you in four weeks.